Hey, what's up, everybody? The try to thing, everybody wants to obtain wealth. I know some people say, I don't want to be wealthy. I just want to be comfortable. But everybody wants to strive for wealth. Today, we're just going to, you know, spitball back and forth between me and Alex. And we're going to talk about some of the misconceptions that, you know, people or that we hear of people think what wealth is. And just, you know, like I said, go back and forth and pull out different nuances that's out there. So Alex, you can start off. What's one of the main misconceptions that about wealth that you realize? I mean, I know you thought it was one thing when you was younger and then what it is today. And you can tell both sides of it. Yeah, when I was younger, um, you know, I grew up in a family that was more like lower and lower middle class, maybe. You know, my mom worked really hard, so she provided a comfortable lifestyle for a kid. But through working, right. you know, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. But I grew up in a family that thought wealth was obtained by those that were evil, by those that were selfish. You know, they had the mindset of, you know, oh, if this billionaire has this much money, why doesn't he give this amount to the homeless? Why doesn't he do this or that? always pointing fingers at those were, that were wealthy and blaming them for, you know, problems in the world and such. And so that was my mindset growing up. And it wasn't, it didn't take much for me to realize though, that I needed wealth in a, in an aspect in order to be financially free or financially independent. But once I started to actually divulge into obtaining wealth and starting to make more money and seeing what I was having to do in order to make more money or protect my money and things of that sort. And the thing in the sacrifices I was making, I started to realize, well, like, hold on. So if I'm making these sacrifice, these sacrifices. How does that make me selfish? And then I am like, okay, if I'm making these sacrifices, I can only imagine the sacrifices a billionaire had to make to get to where he is. You know, I started to think, okay, you know, I'm on this small level, the sacrifices I'm making, you know, I'm staying up till late hours of the night, I'm studying, I'm researching, I'm so focused on trying to make money that I'm losing my social life, I'm losing friends, I'm losing, you know, all the entertainment in my life. And thank God I have, I'm with a, a woman that actually wants to make the same sacrifices because most people are with, you know, in their relationship, they don't even have that support. So they're in these relationships and then it causes issues. So I can imagine that too. I'm thinking like, there's all this that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see in order to obtain wealth. And people just simply think, oh, because they have this money, they're selfish, they're evil. They did something wrong to have that money rather than just saying that they simply made a ton of sacrifices to get to where they are. And now that they've made it, people just want to take from them. But the people that want to take from them don't want to make the same sacrifices that those billionaires have made. You know, if you want them to donate to the homeless or purify the water on earth, which isn't going to happen because of politics and all these issues, why don't you make the same sacrifices and you, you purify the world? You know, Dan Pena talks about that, you know, without money, you can't do anything. So why don't if you want to do all these good things, you make the money and then you do good with it. Right. No, I mean, I agree on a lot of concepts you say. Um, just going in the spirit of going back and forth. Um, for me, I think the biggest misconception about wealth is a, everybody think it's a number. You know, everybody think you got everybody think it's a net worth, you know, net worth of you know, 5 million, 5 billion. Everybody think that's what wealth is. That's not what wealth is. If you have a net worth and the media, mass media always use this as a political standpoint. They always want to point out what Jeff Bezos, what Mark Zuckerberg, what Elon Musk, and what all these high net worth people, net worth is. They always construe the message as this is how much money they make a year. That's not true. Net worth is assets minus liabilities. You can't spend net worth. You can spend cash flow. You can spend refinance money. 
you can spend different nuances like that, but you cannot spend net worth. But people think wealth is a number. Wealth is not a number as far as net worth. Wealth is the ability, and it's simply as this, the ability to stop working your W-2 job and have the ability to cover all of your expenses in your personal life. So expenses, if mortgage, if you have it, car payment, if you have it, bills, you know, going on two or three vacations a year, if that's what you want to do with not having to work. That's all wealth is. So let's just say your your monthly expense is $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month. If you can make six to eight to $10,000 a month Passively or without working your W-2 job, that is wealth. I know people that make hundreds of thousands. I know people that make millions of dollars a year. And they're still broke. Hell, you, you don't have to look far for these people. Only thing you have to do is turn on the TV. I mean, you see celebrities setting up GoFundMe accounts to uh, fund their fund their kids softball teams uh travel just because you make the money that don't mean nothing wealth is the ability to stop your job and whatever you did you know with that funds from your job it gives you the ability to afford your lifestyle without working that's all wealth is wealth could be any number as long as it cover your expenses and you don't have to work for it that's well but people put it on a moniker and then the media love to construe it because everybody loved to think uh elon musk is making 100 billion dollars a year but that's not the truth because that's what the media want push as the objective because they want to tax the wealthy or tax the rich or whatever but i think that's one of the biggest the biggest concepts out there that people get get confused wealth is only the ability to take care of yourself without having to answer to the boss man every day. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I mean, back to my point, and I agree with your point as well. This is just what society I see teaches as well. You know, it's like, it's so set up that it's almost blindfolded people on the reality. They want to, like you say, the media makes it seem like these people are making hundreds of billions of dollars. And the reality is they're not, I think we talked on a different video, you know, whatever their net worth is, they're probably making 10% of that amount. But even to that point, 10% of that, that's still a lot of money, but the sacrifices that they made to earn that income or earn that net worth. And a lot of people forget to realize it's not simply like they just have their net worth sitting in a cash bank account. Like if they want to access the funds of their net worth, there's taxes involved if they sell more than if they sell shares they have to report it you know it's like all of these like stipulations in place for them to actually have to go about doing things and we don't live in a perfect world like i wish people would realize that it's not as simple as oh it only costs nine billion dollars to purify the earth's water why don't they do it like it's not that simple there are countries that would not even allow that they won't even allow their water to be purified because they want it to be unpure for certain, you know, certain towns and cities of their of the country. And it's just a sad reality. We live in a very realistic world. It's not, you know, a land of make believe. So, I mean, I wish people would see more on that and realize that, you know, it's not the individual that is evil or wrong. It's we just the world we live in is just the way that it is and those that have obtained that wealth have done it in a very selfless way in a sense and almost put yourself in their shoes if you because i know we've we've done this too kirby is ask people it was a construction crew that works with you and um you know, at first they had always been talking about why don't they tax the rich? Why don't they tax the rich? And then now that they started to make a lot of money in their business, they started to 
realize the taxes that they had to pay and then they didn't want to pay those taxes and it's the same thing you know it's it's convenient for those in a lower position to point the finger and blame others that have made it but once you actually start to make it yourself you start to see the reality of how things work right and and I'm still going on a spirit of going back and forth the another misconception that i think people believe in is you're going to save your way to wealth and people can think robert kiyosaki is crazy but i think he's on to something debt is the way to wealth debt is the way to wealth i'm gonna say it one more time for the people in the back debt is the way to wealth so i'm gonna give you a couple instances they all do it the same way but i'll give you a couple instances mark zuckerberg and i just happened to be talking about this last night um mark zuckerberg he's the ceo the founder the creator of facebook Mark Zuckerberg take a salary lower than what 99% of America takes as a salary from their job. His wealth and the reason why he don't pay taxes and all that is because he understand debt structure. Why would he take, you know, 20, 30 million dollars a year as a paycheck from Meta, Facebook, whatever you want to call it? When only thing you got to do is leverage the assets that you have and take out a loan against the assets you have and not pay taxes. That's something that people don't understand. And, and they still don't get it to this day. And and when politicians go ahead and say tax the rich, but they also, the same politicians have the laws in place to say if you take out debt, you don't pay taxes on debt. That is, wealth is not strictly money that's saved. It's not money saved at all. Wealth is, bills are due every month. The key to wealth is you have to find something that produces money that covers those bills every month. So if you save a million dollars, those bills are going to come. Eventually, that million dollars is going to run out because the bills are going to eventually evaporate that million dollars. You have to find something that will continually, perpetually match match dollar for dollar or more than dollar for dollar for the bills that come. So when Zuckerberg or all of these people in, in the wealth realm, they take their money, they take out debt against the assets they have it's to cover those obligations. They don't have to pay taxes. Actually, they get a tax write-off because of the debt that they've taken out because it's a business expense. But debt is the real reason. And I will always point it to this. The Mona Lisa painting. The Mona Lisa painting is valuable because it's a one of one. There's no Mona Lisa paintings ever being produced. The only reason why it's valuable because it's the only one being produced. The same thing with like for your sneakerheads out there that got the, you know, back to the future shoes that cost $12,000 shoe because it's only like 15, 20 of them produced. That's the only ones that's going to be produced. That's what makes it more valuable. If they just mass produced them, the value of it would drop. I'm saying that the value of it would drop. So think of this. When you're sitting out there saving money, saving money, saving money, you're not creating value. Because the government is printing more money than you can save. So the value of the dollar that you're saving is worse than what is depreciating as the days go by. So taking out debt to not pay taxes, because if you save money, you got to pay taxes on the money you save because you got interest and all that stuff. So on top of already not beating inflation by not getting the interest rate that you should get that's bigger than inflation, you got to pay taxes on the little interest that you do get from the banks that provide it. So debt is also a key to wealth. And that's something that I think people that don't understand or misconstrue all the time. That well, I means said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, leave us comments down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one.